And it is with that incredibly cinematic view that we begin today. We are on Med Creek. Happy whatever day it is. I'm losing track of this stuff. But we're here on Med Creek and we're starting to get her done. We gotta get this combine rolling. So as we scoot down this little road here in this awesome truck and trying to lose control, we're gonna pull up here and you can see the combine there. Yeah, it's looking great in this hillside. It's a little bit too wet to be cutting beans, but I figure we'll just uh, take this, uh, take the head cart back with our truck here, assuming we don't pass up the entire entrance on the way. So, yeah, you know, that'd be nice. So as previously stated, we got this a little bit opened up, but you know, it's just kind of a little bit too wet right now. I mean, everything's cutting good. I just don't want to run wet grain because we our dryer is out of commission for the moment. I'm just kidding. We don't have one. But, yeah, we're going to get this uh, combine started up again. Whatever. Whatever. Let's just cut it. We, we don't have this much time to be wasting. So we're just going to get her done, get her cut. Yeah. So I stand corrected. The grain is not as wet as I thought it was. So we're actually doing fine to be cutting right now. It's pretty early in, earlier in the morning still. But, you know, if the grain's cutting, I mean, everything's cutting good. And it's dry, actually. So we'll be All good right, in here. So I've got a little secret for you. I've been keeping something from you. I'm very, very sorry. But, you know, it. we brought something down from Michigan right before harvest started. And uh, it just came in need because my other truck will not start and I need to ride back. Anybody recognize the gray ram that's extremely lifted that's sitting in the side of the ditch here? I had my hired guy bring it to me and I don't know where he just went. He just left it here. But you know what? That's fine. It's not our problem now. We got to ride back to the farm. So yeah, just know that this is here. I brought it. I drove it all the way down from Michigan to here. I think now will be a good time before I uh, leave and don't have a ride back to probably set our auger. So let's just uh, pull this around here. Stop her. I'll jump out and we'll go set the auger real fast on this beautiful, beautiful day. It is going to be a perfect day for harvest. We can get it. We can get this right here. Maybe. Yep. Looks pretty darn good to me. Carefully pull her out and we'll set her. Hey, we got the auger set. It only took me like 12 minutes ish. It looks pretty good. It's up there on our uh, tall bin. So all we have to do now is. I can't get this adjusted right. We have a problem in the pins here and the hydraulic system that uh, flattens it. We'll just have to try not to hit it with the semi or anything. So yes, this is the plan. Now, uh, I'm probably going to run back over here to the... Uh... Hello. Yeah, grain cart. There it is. Beautiful day to be setting angles, trying to maintain them, and uh, running over to the grain cart. I don't know if we're going to enlist the second help of our second combine for this fuel or not. We're rolling through it pretty quickly, but we do still have quite a bit to go. I'm hoping this is going to be a pretty productive day, and I am definitely ready to put some green in that bin. It'll be the first of the year, and I'm real happy to uh, hopefully see it go, but or go in. So yeah, I'm ready for that. Hopefully we'll get a full semi here, and I'll uh, show it to you as we're trying to get our hopper for our auger under that beautiful galvanized steel trailer. I'm going to break something. You know, for the time of day it is, being the morning and all, uh, these soybeans are running pretty dry. You can see what we got in the hopper so far. They look really clean. I think we're doing a real good job today with their 35-foot platform and the uh, 9760, of course. Everything, there's always a challenger, a competitor that does a better job, but I really like this machine. I feel like we're going to have it around for a long time. The 96... 50 might get traded at some point, but I don't foresee that in the near future either. I think we got a great setup right now, and I'm just thankful we have this. And we're just cutting away here. I mean, uh, we have a little bit left of this field. You can see the grain cart up there looking awesome. Look how long that auger is. Alrighty, we could go dump this load of grain. We got the old Peterbilt semi out here with the uh, tractor and grain cart sitting over there looking pretty. Uh, we probably better start it before we try to let off the clutch and put it into gear. Uh, that's, or putting the gear in that off clutch. That's much better now. We're going to go ahead and, uh, jump on the road here carefully. So long as we 
don't bottom out in this ditch. And it's painful, but I think we'll be all right. Then we're going to get this down, and the auger's set, and we should be able to dump this, and then we should all be fine. Tonight, there's a big, big, it's already really windy, but there's a huge windstorm coming in tonight. Uh, remind me to take the auger down. So, uh, yep, we'll get back. Oh, no, no, that does not look good. Oh, yes, it would have been a good time to take this down. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, no, nope, nope, there it went. Yep, there it went. That's it. Well, you know, 4240 suffered some minor hitch damage. Thankfully, nothing big, but uh, <sighs> it's not going to run the new auger that we just bought. So, uh, you know, the 4955 from this spring is going to have to fill in right there. And if you can see where I just pointed, we put took the duels off of this thing and from the shop so this is an old auger we bought from the co-op down here so we just got to try to pull it down the road without wrecking it try to take some corners all right in the 4955 so i'm sure looking forward to that i hope we get this down in one piece because this is our last hope i have no other way to put grain in the bin this year aside from this auger that we're hauling down the road and the wind has significantly decreased, but I don't think I want to really put it up right away because, you know. So I say old auger, but it's really not. It's super nice. So it'd be helpful not to run it into the ground yet. We're just like hovering a quarter inch off the ground here uh, from that hill. It's just if, I mean, if you look back, it's just the way the angle is, the way it's set up. Okay, so I need this up on the corn bin. But I gotta go check the wind first up at the top of the bin before we do anything. So I'm climbing up side of the bin here, as you can see. But I, I gotta check the wind. There's no way I'm gonna let this fall. All right, we made it up to the uh, top of the bin here. It does not feel hardly windy at all now. Of course it's not. Now, uh, just watch. As soon as I put this auger up, it's gonna get super, super windy again. Uh, I think we're gonna do it because I'm reading about 7 mile an hour, and this is not a super tall bin. It was just way windy earlier so we've got it set up here if you can see we're gonna run this and we're gonna hopefully not wreck it let's turn the light on here we got this as low to the ground as we can get it so we don't like have to run over with lumen trailer it's not windy anymore at all we'll be fine i'm not concerned about it that was way too hard i couldn't get the auger to uh cooperate very well we're going to figure out something different for the next load so yep it's working. I didn't figure a thing out yet. Morning, everybody. Beautiful new morning. We're running up the road here with this uh, tractor and grain cart in order to get it to the field. But we are not, in fact, cutting beans. We are, lights please, shelling corn. We're going to start shelling corn this morning. We have a corn field that's, I think, is dry enough to run. So we're going to run it. Let's uh, hop in here, get the everything warmed up, and we'll dive in and hopefully not... Wreck anything too bad. I'm looking for a good day here. A good, good day because I don't think yesterday quite qualified. We got a lot done, but we also wrecked an auger and probably lost all the property yesterday. At least we're not super, like, in debt or anything. And I clogged up the corn head. As you can see, I already messed something up this morning. I clogged up the corn head. We got it unclogged now. It's fine. It only took me like five minutes. Well, uh, let's get rolling again. And rolling again we are, my friends. Rolling again we are. It's been a pretty good day, so let's keep it that way. That way, I said, let's keep it that way. Cut me off. Uh, we're going to go ahead and finish dumping here into this grain cart. Everything's looking... Uh, grain cart? Where am I? This is a grain truck. We have this on the farm. I mean, we have a nice semi, but we just have this for if we're doing something else. Yeah, so we're trying to get that. We're just flying to grain cart... Or gra do, duh auger tractors we had no one break this morning the 4955 has some issues so uh see if we can't get some fired up come on it's 55 degrees oh that was close come on
This thing sounds amazing. Let's go put it on an auger. All right, we got the auger set on our uh, bean bin over here. And we have our Brant grain auger started up. This is the other transfer system we're gonna use because we can't get the hydraulics on that particular part of the auger to work to where I can get it out of the way when I need the semi here. I don't know, there's all kinds of problems. They said this was a mildly problematic auger, but we just needed one. So, it'll work. Or it won't work and we'll make it work. It's fine. Sorry, buddy. The last thing for today is we remember when we were talking about trading. Uh, no, no, we didn't buy a leader combine. Calm down. We were talking about trading the 9650 for something at some point. Well, I doubt it's going to be a new gleaner like this, but we went ahead and signed up for the demo anyway. It's going to help us with this massive field of wheat. Uh, we'll show you a little footage of harvest, and uh, then we'll wrap up for the day. It's a pretty clean-looking machine. I'll give it that. We got a 40-foot 9240 Dynaflex Draper on it here. I uh, don't know what's up in my rear window, but we'll just ignore that. Everything is looking pretty good to me. I mean, we're cutting fast, that's for sure. Six mile an hour with a 40-foot Draper on beams. And this is a Draper header, too, so it's cutting a lot better than our uh, platform. But I mean, it's a Draper, so I'm not just going to attest that one to the fact that it's a Gleaner. I'm just going to say that's because it's a Draper versus a platform. And there's a year difference here, too. This combine thresh is better, but that could also be a year difference. It's a big year difference. This is like a 2018 or 19, I believe, that we are currently demoing. And we run like 2000, early 2000s combines. So... Also, we thank you guys for watching today. We may add a little bit more footage at the end of this, but that's pretty much going to be the end of the video. Be sure to comment, share, like, and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, no, that's not right. And be sure to share this video with, share the channel with anyone you think would like it. That is, if you enjoyed this video. We will see you guys next time.